Hello, this is Doug from Doug and May's blog. I'm doing this video to show you how how you have what the steps are to go through to take your motorcycle from say this is Cebu. We're taking our motorcycle from Cebu over to Mindanao, and I wanted to explain when you're going to do that. You should make copies of your ORCR. Just go ahead and make like eight or ten copies. You're going to need them when you're traveling. Because most places you go, they need a copy of your ORCR. They need always carry your vaccination card too. So have your vaccination card and then have cash. You got to have cash money works here. What happened is... Yesterday, we went to the port to find out where to go to buy our tickets to get on the boat with our motorcycle. And we wanted to take our motorcycle to Mindanao and my wife and myself. Well, they told us to go some, we had to set in a line about, oh, 20 minutes. It was real hot. There was a lot of pollution and, you know, the diesel smoke. At the port's very busy place. When we finally got up to the, the ticket agent, she told us to go, and she told us the wrong place to go. So we went to that wrong place, and we found out that this is really where you go. Then we decided to come here the next day. So we got here before 8 o'clock. They opened at 8 o'clock in the morning. We wanted to get here before 8 o'clock so we could uh, have plenty of time and we wouldn't have to fight the line too bad which it wasn't bad. So anyway, we come in here. We're here before eight o'clock. Well, we asked the guard to help us. And the guard said, go on up to the counter. So we went to the counter. It was about five minutes after eight. We came up to the counter five minutes after eight. They're still putting their makeup on. So nobody is gonna help us. And they're making, this is a really good job here in the Philippines. I mean, this is one of the best jobs you can get. So we're here early to get so we don't have to stand in line next door. And all these girls are sitting here messing with their makeup or eating at five minutes after eight. So we finally get our ticket here. So we go next door. Then you got a big old line because they wouldn't wait on us here on time. So I'm just telling you this because all the bloggers they like to sugarcoat the Philippines tell you how it's Shangri-La I'm telling you the truth about it um, and then when we finally got our paperwork we went over we had to stand in a big old line over there because they took so long to help us out here there's like one two three four five six seven seven people working here and only two people were working so we went next door and then we got we paid for everything they had to send us back over here again to show that it was a prepaid the lady didn't stamp a prepaid ticket so we came back over they stamped a prepaid ticket we went back over there then we were able to pay and finally we got our actual ticket to get on the boat and get our motorcycle on the boat so anyway, that's kind of the way it's been going today. You know, I just, I don't think that any, out of 300 bloggers that are doing blogs about the Philippines, nobody tells you these things. They all want to tell you how girls are all over you. And it's bullshit. It used to be that way 20, 30 years ago, but not anymore. There's too many foreigners already in this country now. It's not like it used to be, but the people are still friendly. Generally, they are friendly, but it's nothing like it used to be. Everything's a real hassle to do. Getting your driver's license is a hassle. Travel is a hassle. Anything you do is a real hassle compared if you're used to the United States or if you're used to, you know, like any other Western country, but it's still doable. Um, you just got to be very patient 
and be sure to have all your ORCR, copies of your ORCR, copies of your passport, and be sure to have your medical card where you had your vaccine. Anyway, we'll catch up with you later. There it is, the, the un, unsugared truth. We'll talk to you later.